back with another episode of Meet the Hodges. So, um, a little bit has changed since last time. Not a whole lot. I just did a little bit of um, putzing around. So, I gave Jeb a makeover um, just because I said I would in the last one. And then I also gave Molly a little makeover too. Nothing like too drastic. I just gave um, her some skin details and stuff like that and gave her a new everyday outfit but nothing too crazy um also when I was watching back on the last video I noticed that I had like contradicted myself when I talked about um Jamie uh Callie's mom and I kind of like went back and kind of decided to change the story on her because initially she was supposed to be kind of a bad mom but um, I just didn't really want to have, like, an evil mom in the story. It just is a relationship that didn't really work out. Um, because I just don't want to villainize her like that. Um, so yeah, I went back and changed that, and also I'm really sorry about, um, the fan in the background in the last one. I don't have my fan on now, um, so I am kind of roasting, but <laughs> I don't want this fan to be on the entire time that I'm playing. Um, I also added a few sims in. She needs to stop asking. Okay, so I have been finding the whole, like, asking to be friends thing really annoying because it leads to these, like, sentiments, um, about each other that are just like completely unnecessary like she's feeling rejected now they haven't even they haven't even introduced each other themselves to now this makes sense Kaylee totally makes sense but he hasn't even introduced himself to Molly yet and she's asking to be his best friend of course he's gonna say no like I'll introduce myself to you but we're not gonna be best friends Just little things that need to be touched. Touched up. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting at the coffee shop from... Oh my gosh. No! Molly, we're not going to become best friends. You are my daughter's friend. We, uh, romance? What in the... What is going on, man? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, you're not going to apologize to her. You don't need to apologize to her. I will fix your relationship later. Okay, Eric, I'm actually just going to send you home. He's feeling sad about the divorce, and Callie's on her laptop just chilling, so... <laughs> oh, my God. We just started, and there's already bugs and messiness happening. All right, let's put this away. Um, our curfew is in a little bit, but I kind of want her to go out with Molly and get up to some mischief, so let's put this away. I kind of want to, um, I think I'm going to make like a high, like a teen lot for them to go hang out on. So I'll be, oh my gosh, they're so cute, little friends. I'll be right back. So we're back. Um, I was going to have Callie go out, um and get up to mischief, but she actually has work in 34 minutes, which is actually past her, um, curfew, so I'm gonna have, um, her dad remove the curfew for now, just so that she won't get in trouble, um, while she's out working, because that's not fair. Um, I'm fine with her breaking curfew, um, you know, on other days, but you can stop cooking. Can you please? Oh. He just will not listen to me. He needed to finish that dish. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I need you to remove the curfew. Thank you. So she can go to work. Oh, that was a close call. I think one of my end goals, too, is also to, like, get them to move into a larger home. Um, it's going to take a lot of time, but... I do want them to get to that point. Also, there was an update where you can actually, um, write through the, I mean, not write, uh, walk through these garbage piles now. So that's exciting because I was deleting them, uh, 
because they, you couldn't walk through them before. So finally we can actually walk through them, which is great. Also, I added some sims into the world, so I'm really hoping that um, my sims end up running into them at some point because uh, just like some potential love interests and like friends and stuff. So I'm hoping that they can meet them at some point out in the wild, but all right. Well, since Callie's at work right now, I think we're just going to skip to the morning. All right. I'll see you then. So it is the next morning and I'm kind of doing like an every other day thing with Callie. So we're at school today. Um, I did download, um, a different school and I'm hoping because it's a little bit smaller than the one I downloaded for Cadence's thing that um, it won't slow my game down too much so let's cross our fingers and just kind of hope <laughs> that it works but I really like this one it's like the most popular one on the gallery so I just picked it because it was there and it's a really nice looking school um, let's see you all is here today Luna uh, Molly is not at school today, so let's introduce ourselves to Kevin, I guess, in the meantime. I do want to introduce ourselves to Savannah, too. She wants to, she has to study for exams. Oh, I love this outfit. Mm. Oh, she teleported over here. Okay. I gave Savannah a makeover in my last one. Um, not like a huge one, but the eyebrows that grew down the sides of the face were just a bit much for me. So I gave her just like different eyebrows and some skin details. So I might do that. Oh, Molly is here. Oh my gosh. That's so, I'm so happy. Come order like a junior lunch, I guess, before class starts. Because you're really hungry. She got home super late last night um, and then just didn't have time to like take care of herself. So, all right, I just wanted to do some, oh, Molly got up, dang. It's okay, we'll just sit with Luna. Never mind, freaking hater. Guess we won't sit with Luna. <laughs> So she's a drama llama, so she wants to gossip five times. So I guess we'll like hang out with um, Molly tonight and talk some mad crap about people. She didn't finish her homework? Oh no. She is an overachiever though, so I think she's gonna stay after school today and um, like, oh look at there's Jab. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have her stay after school to take care of her exam stuff. Oh, dang, Rita, are you okay? Oh, we're in class with our friends. That's so cute. All right, class is over. I'm going to have her talk to Jeb for a little bit. Not, no, let's just, like, talk to Jeb. Oh my gosh. He has a very raspy voice. We can do a little bit of gossiping with Jeb as well. I do not like the fact that the... I don't like the principles in here. I feel like she's judging me. Their friendship's going up really slow. Well, in any case, um, I was thinking of like... Um, oh, Molly's sitting with someone else. That attention students makes me pause every time I hear it. What is she feeling awkward about? Probably shouldn't joke about things like that. Um, let's do something fun on our phone while we wait for class to start. I, no one invited you into this conversation. What's your name again? Sophia. Yeah, she's gonna have to go to the bathroom. Um, 
after class. She's gonna have to hold it because there's there is no hallway passes in the Sims universe. She's so cute. I love this outfit. Oh. I would love to go as friends. Yeah, let's go to the bathroom before we go do exam prep. She's gonna go to the bathroom and she has to go to classroom two. I think this is classroom two. Attend exam prep. This is moving so much like faster than when I played with Cadence. I don't know what's going on. Like it's nice. Let's hope we can go to prom. We'll see how that goes. I didn't put very much um, effort into this just because I didn't want the high school pack to be the main focus. We've gotten here and I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> no, it's in... What? We have to order outside now? I downloaded this from the gallery. I just realize I'd have to order my boba. Not an amateur comedy routine. That's so awkward. She's out here embarrassing herself. Why is there no one, um... Hold on. Hold on. Why is there... Bubble Teen Clothing Store? Yeah. Why is there no one working here? Well. I want to make sure that this is functioning. So. If this is why, then I'm gonna adjust this. It looked aesthetic, but I want to be able to get my boba. You know? I've been having the hardest time clicking on things. Like, I've... Is there even, like, a boba tea worker here? Comedy night. They're all comedy night contestants? But what about the boba... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go sit with molly and just be hungry i guess because there's no one here to work the where's my homework i'm stressed okay i think we're just gonna go home i wanted to hang out here with molly but my homework's not in my bag the boba person isn't here and I just don't really know what to do with myself. These two are so cute, though. Um, I think we're just going to head home, though, because I don't feel like um, getting in trouble for uh, being in a place I can't even take care of myself. I'm not sure if that was just because it was like a gallery lot or what, but that was really weird. Um... I feel like he hasn't done anything all day today. Which is fine, but... He's just watching TV. Well, we'll be uh, taking care of him tomorrow, so... Oh, that's what was so stinky. I keep forgetting that we don't have a sink in here. Which is fine. I I mean, it's it's not that fine. But I'm not willing to go into build and buy mode and slow down my game considerably either, so. Why don't you eat at the di dinner table? Both of you. You're super tired. I guess I can have you go to bed super early and then work on your homework in the morning. Once you're done eating. I'm turning off the TV on her dad. I want her to get into painting some more. I think I'll have her paint a little bit and then go to bed. Ew. 
Eric, I'm going to try to boost your mood and get you confident so you can work on your own work. So brush your teeth. Yes! That's exactly what we needed. Go ahead and write a motivational book. Back at it again with the motivational books. I don't really care what it's named. It's not for me. Oh! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Go to bed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the morning with Eric. Alright, so we're back with- oh! Look who's pregnant. I wasn't expecting that. Good for her. We're back with um, Eric, and if you're noticing that our money has dropped considerably, it's because he bought a little surprise for Callie because she spoiled and he couldn't really help himself, and he also bought himself a laptop so that he could go to like cafes and stuff and work because he is really socially awkward, but he is trying to get out some more. So um, this is a little cafe that I built. Um, I like this cafe a lot, and it kind of like suited his vibes a little bit more so his old vibes than his new ones but oh let me actually find him a job because i just had him come here to work and then to potentially meet some people so let's find him another job Ooh, a thousand dollars let's do that Nancy's pregnant. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. Oh, with a little girl. Oh, cute. Good for you, Nancy. You're probably in so much pain right now. Did you order something? Um, just get like a latte. Oh, she's pregnant too. Become enemies with a Molly. That seems a little bit much. Oh my gosh. What a jump. Oh my gosh. And just become enemies with... Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I was not expecting this so soon. <laughs> Not Jamie being here. He's already sad enough about her being. Oh no. Oh no, that's so awkward. Uh, he's gonna share his melancholy thoughts with her. They're both pretty sad. Um, I mean, he doesn't hate her. He just is a little bit upset. I mean, obviously they're divorced. He's not going to be happy about it. But he wants to talk to her a little bit. I think she's feeling a little bit upset about the um, divorce as well. Uh, to be completely honest, because it's still a very fresh thing on their minds. But I just wasn't expecting him to run into her here. He still loves her a lot. Um, ask Jamie what her problem is. Oh, he's feeling real tense about this. This whole situation is stressing him out. I mean, he came here to relax. I, I swear to you, I did not spawn her to the lot. Um, I think she left. Jamie really said, I'm not happy. <laughs> seeing you so I'm gonna leave oh my gosh I can't believe she just left like that I can't put it at any of these tables outside okay um come and chat with your client look at it's that alien lady again I swear she's following me also I just realized I, I have my headline effects off we go 
Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. I also like can't believe she just left. I bet he's feeling really upset about that now. Oh. Of course, like none of the new sims that I made for him to meet are showing up. Oh, his hair's broken. That's a little. Come introduce yourself to this guy. Also put this in your inventory, please. Don't talk to Father Christmas, please. I don't feel like engaging with that. Come introduce yourself to uh, Ravi... Ratvik. Rat Ratvik? Ratvik? You know? Yeah. This guy. Um. Um, I also want to say I did... Um, I did record the cast video of him. Oh my gosh, everyone's pregnant. Is she... I did record the video of Cass for um, him and Callie, but unfortunately the data corrupted and it did not, um, it did not work. So that unfortunately was a flop. So that didn't go through. So it was just kind of one video that I didn't get to upload, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Is this an elder? No, she's an adult potential friend. One second. Okay, so I gave her a makeover, but she is uh, non-committal, so I don't know if I'll go down the romance route. I mean, maybe I will for the... Oh gosh, that was too close. Uh, maybe I will for the sake of drama, but I just wanted him to meet. That is terrible. This is terrible. Why would you call your ex-husband who just saw you and you were both feeling super sad that you weren't together anymore and you call him? No, you know what? He's going to be a little bit toxic and be like, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that's so mean. He wants to discuss fears after fulfilling wants. He wants to volunteer with family. That's really cute. We can maybe do that later on today. Um, sure, I'll drink this floating mocha. Dang. For free? Oh my gosh, everyone's getting pregnant. That's one, two, three Sims in the same lot that's pregnant. She's not. Is, are you? You haven't stood up. I have a particular problem with her from like years and years ago and I haven't forgiven her for it. She's pregnant too. They're really trying to populate the world for real, dude. What is going on, man? Everyone is pregnant. Bartend? He's not a bartender. Just saying. Oh, you're getting to know the... Principal. He's discussing the flavors of the cannoli. I'm so proud of it. Oh, she doesn't like the fact that we're talking to... Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you. She's a B student now. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She does. She has work tonight. So she's going to have to take care of that. He should be going home soon, but... I want him to get to know these two before he goes home. Three adults in the same place? Oh my gosh. Come introduce yourself to uh, Lucha here, too. Don't invite yourself to- You're back? Jamie! Jamie, you are just- Why are you back? I'm gonna have him, like, apologize for telling her to, you know, 
just apologize for the phone call. He feels a little bit bad about it. He recognizes he was being toxic and he's going to ask about her day and then he's going to go to the bathroom. He's going to relieve himself because he has a want to relieve himself for some reason. He's going to... This is so awkward. I'm out here trying to chop and she shows up. He's feeling overwhelmed. Sir? Sir? Good. Uh, sir, you can't... Oh. Let's go to the bathroom. And then... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe he just flirted with her. That's so awkward um i am gonna have him go home though because that was a mess and i i just don't <laughs> i can't deal with that anymore what a mess all right we're back home callie's in here watching tv oh my gosh that was intense oh this is the surprise, by the way. He got her a new computer that he's sitting at. Bro. Just come over and hug her. Um, yeah, this was her surprise that I talked about earlier. He got her a new computer because she's feeling flirty. Oh, from the TV. Um, he just wanted to surprise her with something. He's really proud of how she started, like, working on her own. And, um, he also, like, he needs a hug after seeing Jamie out in the wild like that. Holy crap. Talk about awkward. He's just gonna come over here and make some dinner. Uh, maybe some grilled cheese. He seems like a grilled cheese dad. Man, his butt is so big, dude. I'm trying to really decide when I want to take the next step with his life, you know? Thanks, Grandpa. Um. Oh! That was so gross. Um. I don't know. I want him to start taking care of himself a little bit better especially after today i don't think he's gonna want to have to do anything after today though that was that was a lot um yeah that was a lot today so i don't know unless i think i have an idea After today's events and just having to deal with Jamie and running into her in public and then having her ask if he, she wants to go on a date with someone else, he was just really feeling kind of under the weather and he decided he kind of just needed to change. I mean, if your ex-wife is messaging you about going out with someone else, he he feels like it's kind of a him thing. It's definitely not. Um, that was definitely a really messed up thing for her to do and really unhealthy. But I don't know. I think it's a good change for him. He's just kind of cleaning up. Um, he is very baby-faced right now, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping there'd be some stubble, but that's okay. He's very clean-faced. Um, and I think he's slowly trying to change. Um, it's going to be a slow process, but I'm really happy for him that he decided to clean himself up at least a little bit. And we'll see what everything holds for him tomorrow. And with that, I think I'm going to end up the episode. Um, I, I think it went pretty well today. I think I'm going to stick to like two days per episode so that these episodes aren't too long. Um, and just kind of alternate. And if something more exciting happens, I might extend it. But um, two days an episode, just alternating between the two is working out for me. So I think I'm going to keep doing that. But, I don't know, I'm looking forward to seeing Eric grow, and I'm kind of excited for what comes next. 
thank everyone thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video okay bye